everyone, it is me, TNT, and I am back with another tutorial, so let's just get right on into it. So, most kids love games. I mean, like, I absolutely love games. Um, so, Minecraft is, of course, a video game, and it's a super fun video game. game. But you can also have mini games inside of Minecraft. Uh, so I have created, I think, like four mini games. One, two, three, a few. Uh, and I put them all into one world, and we're going to get right on, right on into it. So the first one is, well, it's actually inside. I don't know why I called this the first one. Uh, this is just a cool little decoration. Um, you know what, I'll show you guys how to do it really fast. Game mode, creative, I'll show you guys how to make this. It's super simple and easy. Let's just take some glass and try to fill out this water really fast. So some of you or all of you might be going, I don't need to know how this is done, but if you guys do, uh, it's super, super simple. It's just two um, hoppers with a random item inside of them going back and forth. A comparator facing outwards into a block, and on top of that block, place a piston. On top of that piston, place a um, uh, a, a slime block. And then you need to get out a bow, and you need to get out some arrows. And it's up to you what color, color you want the particles to be. I like them blue because it has uh, it's a water fountain, so <laughs> blue is kind of the appropriate color. But you guys can do whatever. Then all you have to do is come up high-ish. And just shoot them right onto that slime block and you can kind of go like that and you can mix colors up too if you'd like I don't know what color I just shot but I think it was the blue one because that was first in my inventory Whew, there are a lot of particles and now we'll just shoot some of that color too and you can see now that we have yeah a lot of particles going on over here uh, and then you just close this up and then all you have to do is get out some water and you just fill in this area right here and it makes it look super super nice and pretty and cool uh, so yeah that is I guess the first part of the tutorial uh, just super easy thing but let's get into the games now uh, one of these are actually not a game oh my gosh so like I was saying um, one of these are not a game and it's this guy right here uh, but if we head in here, you know, we'll do this guy first. This is a gas fortune teller. And if we just walk over this string right here, this tripwire, we get a fortune from the gas. Meh. Let's try again. You will soon find diamonds. Ooh, okay. That's a good fortune. Uh, and so this guy's super duper easy. Let's go into game mode spectator maybe this will work yeah this works so this is just a dispenser facing upwards uh, and then if we head down here uh, it's just a redstone line going up over here and then there's a big space over at this part but the tripwire hook is right here and that is powering this block right here um, this block right here and then that gets powered there and then it just goes right into that dispenser and as you guys probably have guessed, that dispenser is just filled with different fortunes. Uh, so that's how it works. So let's get out of here. There we go. Uh, so yeah, that's the first little thing. Uh, super duper simple. Oh, the gas. How you do that is if you head in here, it's just two fence posts and then you place the spawn egg right in the middle this does you use creative mode but maybe there's a way to do in survival too i don't know anyway if we head back into creative mode uh we can head over here now this is actually pie face it's not really it's a little bit more dangerous than that uh but let's get rid of this paper if we click this button we get paper and it says two so we stand on this black box and we press this button once and twice okay we got lucky we got lucky uh, then you just place your number back into here actually once you get it you should just place it right back in so two one ah there we go yeah we should have played on sur um, survival mode 
but basically you just fall into a pit of lava and you cannot get back up because that close behind you uh i'm sad now Ooh. okay where are we okay i think it's this nope it's uh, i don't want to show you guys anything spoiler ish uh but if we head back over here and now we're at the water fountain again so yeah that is pie face uh <laughs> kind of it's not it's, yeah it's a little bit more dangerous, but anyway, if we just go right back into Spectator, I'm using that a lot today. Um, then you guys can see how it's done. Oof. Um, one second. Sorry about that, I just had to remove some blocks around or else the thing sometimes gets stuck. I don't know how I forgot about that. Anyway, we have a really big area over here. I don't know why I made it so big, but you this is a pretty big contraption. You can move it a little bit down and a little bit sideways uh, to uh, have a lot more space. Uh, it'll make it a lot smaller, whatever. Uh, but as you can see, yeah, it's it's large. I, I, you can probably make it a lot, lot more compact. But I'm not the best at redstone, so it's hard for me. Uh, and I made this all up. So basically, there's a button right here we head over here Ooh, I destroyed the sign oh well uh, so this button hard powers this block powering this redstone um, and then this redstone line goes all the way out here it goes into this um, right here and then this goes to two places it goes up into this block uh, into this repeater which hard powers this block then this pushes the piston off I forgot to replace the shulker box okay wait. there we go <laughs> So now if we go here, so usually there's a shulker, shulker box there. I just uh, was fixing something and I forgot to replace it. Anyway, so it goes into this block, uh, powering this piston that pushes the shulker box back into this hopper, which is running into the dispenser right underneath, right uh, there. Let's just put that back there. And this is a not pretty build. I should use wool or, wool or something, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, it pushes it into there, and then this uh, line over here goes into this really long delay. This is 4 ticks, 8 ticks, and then 12 ticks, and then that hard powers this block, which is right next to the dispenser, and that has a bunch of shulker boxes, shulker boxes in it. So what will happen is this one will be pushed into this dispenser, and then that'll go right back into, uh, and the, it'll be pushed into the hopper, which goes into the dispenser, and then it randomly uh, dispenses one of these shulker boxes, and these have different stuff in it, uh, and it, depending on how much stuff is in it, you get a different output from this comparator. So, for example, if we just go into here, so basically this is how it works. It dispenses one random box and then this has a very little amount in it so it only gives off three um three it gives off three lines it powers three lines of redstone and then the yellow ones has quite a lot more this does one two three four five um this one has only one so it only powers one uh, and then I'm not going in order, I don't think. Red is the most. This powers uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and then this one is uh, doesn't have that much either. So this powers one, two, three, four. I don't know if that made sense because I was not going in er order, but hopefully it did. And I'm just going to destroy all of this really fast. Also, sorry I cannot speak today. I don't know what's up with me today, but um, so right now this orange one it does not have much um, redstone in it, so it's only doing two blocks. That's not enough. What we need is we need to get to. Let's put this back into here. We need to get this red one to pop out, and only then will you actually die. So once this redstone, uh, this red one comes out. Basically, it has enough to power all the redstone up to here. This light, uh, this redstone torch, then turns off. That's unpowering this um, piston. And then that makes it so that the piston retracts, pushing this block with it. 
well, making it so that you fall to your doom. Uh, so <laughs> the other thing that happens though, is if we come back here, uh, this once this gets powered, this repeater also gets powered going all the way into this big long redstone line back to the very beginning over here. Basically, um, putting out a new shulker box so you don't have to repress that button um, to restart around because it would usually be open and then you need to, yeah. Basically, you do not want to keep this open so that just makes it so that it closes again. I hope all that made sense. Oh, this part too. This is super duper simple. Just a hopper going into the dispenser button, hard powering that dispenser. When you click it, you get a piece of paper. That's like super duper easy. Anyway, I hope that I hope that all made sense. If it did, I'm so happy. If it did not, I'm so, so sorry. Uh, anyway, next thing. So for this game, we actually have to head outside. I'm going to look down so I don't spoil the next thing for you. You guys probably already saw it a while ago, but still. I'm just going to get rid of all this. And here we go. You guys might be very confused right now, and I totally understand that. You guys probably have just realized what this is. I'm um, just going to toss that out. But anyway, if we go over here, we got to grab our bow and one arrow. Uh, this bow is very enchanted, so just like a very weak... Um, Thing can probably kill most things like if I just went like that it will probably kill something very weak wink 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 anyway if we press this button what will happen is we will get a lot of chickens dispensed and we got to kill as many as we can uh, there's only we'll only get five um, chances to kill so there'll be like five waves and I think there's one more coming yes and that is the last one uh, then there's also this little slab right here so if you want to get your XP or at least some of it um, So this is just like a cute little mini game. Actually, it's not really cute You're murdering like a lot of chickens, but still uh, so you can do as many rounds as you want uh, But typically you just do one round and then you see your score uh, But you can do like three rounds and like challenge your friends and like you guys both do three rounds whoever gets the most wins whatever you guys want to do anyway uh so then once you're all done you go and see what you have gotten uh you count how many raw chickens you have and that is your score uh so in this case i have 18 but that was out of two games uh and then once you're done you of course be polite and return your bow and arrows uh and you also do not want to leave it like this so what you can do is you can just press this button and oh i feel so bad doing this uh but all the chickens start to burn so yeah well at least most of them do sometimes there can be oh man i didn't realize you can jump on top of here sometimes there is a survivor and you can just poor little guy Anyway, and then you can press the button again to take care of the lava, and you can also get some nice meat. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, this is a pretty, yeah, it's, it's really, really big, but it's really cool, so maybe it's worth it, I don't know. Uh, it's just one part of it that takes a very big amount and that's this right here you can probably turn this to face more that direction though but anyway i'll show you guys how to make it so first i'm starting to realize i probably should not have used black concrete second of all let's show you guys how all of this works so to start out with you press this button that hard powers the block which um wait hard powers this so one two three one, two, three. It hard powers this block. What? Oh, it goes underneath. I forgot. Hard powers this block, which then powers this redstone, which then comes all the way under the floor over here. Make sure you pre uh, place that repeater. Make sure it has a good signal. Uh, and then basically it comes up over here, up this stair and this stair, and then up this block. And then, well, it's not really a stair, it was a block back down there, but then it comes into this uh, slab 
whatever you want to call it slab thingy um and then it goes in uh, like the second slab i think yeah the second slab you go into this big repeater and comparator thingy a bobby the dupe thing um this is a very very long redstone signal expander thingy uh the thing is though i said thing way too many times in the like past five minutes anyway uh the problem is that uh it kind of makes a loop it doesn't actually get all the way around but this still works just fine actually uh so yeah but it will eventually eventually lose signal and you'll see it stop in just a moment oh geez there's a chicken hope that didn't escape somehow anyway um so then what happens here is it then gets uh this thing extended a very long time uh, so then it goes up even more onto this block into a repeater just to make sure that redstone signal reaches this torch and then this torch unlocks this hopper which was locked because it's hard powering that block and there's just a feather in here for right now but what will happen is that feather will start to go around and it will eventually hit here once it hit, hits here it will power this comparator powering this repeater powering all this redstone all this repeater set to random ticks and then inside these dispensers are um oy, um our uh, chicken spawn eggs and it's just every single one uh so that's basically how that works and then i feel like oh yeah the uh hopper line and everything and by the way i'm pretty sure you can technically make it so it's facing that way to save a lot of space uh but anyway if we head over here man there's a lot of chickens what happened did they escape somehow <laughs> um oh geez all the chickens can come out over here because i forgot to close this up so let's just do that uh anyway so then what happens is on the floor over here if we just start to kill off these chickens. So I'm not gonna lie, guilt is starting to get to me because I just killed a lot of chickens, but I mean like, I did what had to be done, I suppose. Is Does this have mending? Oh, this does not have mending or I'm breaking, does it? So I'm really confused. For some reason I cannot put mending on this, but anyway, it has unbreaking now, even though we don't really need that. Um, and also I have to do it for all these, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> So, where was I? Yes, over here uh, on the floor, there are a lot of hoppers. All these hoppers, if we just throw some feather, feathers, are leading into this hopper over here. And it goes all the way over here into this one. Um, and then eventually, we go over here and over here. And, wait, what? Now I'm getting myself confused. <laughs> Oh, apparently for some reason I made it go all the way around this way, even though I could have just like made it direct right there. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, but you just gotta make it go into this chest and everything is all good. And then I believe, oh, the dispensers uh, that do lava. Basically, this block is hard power going into this repeater, going into this block, uh, which powers this dispenser, which has a lava bucket in it. And then from this block, this redstone is powered. Make sure the line um, gets all the way to the end with repeaters. And then eventually it loops all the way into here. You need to make sure you have a block there. And then make sure that has lava in it. And then that is basically it, I think. Uh, so there you go. I think we have one more game. And now for the fourth and final game. And that is over in this end so when basically when you walk out let's make sure we have a empty inventory uh, and i don't know why i just went inside but let's also go to survival mode and you just come over here you grab your tri uh, tridents and you grab some ender pearls we'll probably need a lot <laughs> so i'm gonna grab a whole row put those in your offhand and basically you have a wedge an iron and a driver uh so oh one second Sorry about that, I just forgot to put on my feather falling boots. It's very important to have these. And oh my gosh, this is only feather falling four, not five. 
Oh, well. Anyway, the reason you want this is because you're going to be shooting yourself into the air a lot. And when you hit the ground... Okay. Wow, I landed right in the water. Let's go a little bit more this way. Yeah, you don't want to die. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let me get Feather Falling 5. By the way, did, did I even mention this is golf? Oh, and also, there's no Feather Falling 5. And, man, you should really take this off your, uh, off your offhand when you are trying to eat. Anyway, so I have a lot of food. I have fully equipped armor and I have feather falling four and I have my um, tridents and I have my sword in case any ender might spawn anyway so how this works is basically you depend if you want a wedge an iron or a driver this is riptide one riptide two and riptide three by the way um so basically what you do is you put the ender pearl on your offhand you take whatever you're using. In this case, we want to get to that flag right there. So we're going to use a wish because it's not that far away. And then what you do is you launch and you immediately click the uh, right click button to send off your ender pearl. And how this works is when you're shooting yourself with a trident, you gather momentum like incredibly fast, especially if you have red type three, you go like really, really fast. And when you throw your ender pearl going that fast, um, not only do you use the momentum from just throwing it with your arm, you also have the momentum from going super fast. So this makes it go like four times as far as you could just by throwing the ender pearl. So I'll uh, give a quick example really fast. So basically, if you look straight up like uh, at a 45 degree angle, which is the best you can do, and then you med immediately click with uh, your driver, then look at what happens. Look at how far my ender pearl went flying. And I'm going to eat. Really, I should take that off my offhand and eat. And look at how far away we got. And look, if I just throw an ender pearl without going anything, doing anything, yeah, we barely got far. Oh, that reminds me that you should always have ice on you. So basically what you do is you break the ground, you place ice, then you break the ice, and that transforms into uh, water. And that's very important uh, for later on. I'll show you in just one moment. But let's just take this out. So here we go. We're going to try to get ourselves into the hole. So you're the ball, basically. Um, and I forgot to put it into my offhand. So let's do that really fast. And now let's do, try our best to get a hole in one. I have not made a hole in one once. So, okay. That was sad. So you can also just throw an ender pearl. You do not have to. Ooh, man, I didn't even make it. I was like right here. Uh, you don't have to always use um, a trident or your golf club or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but then I'm going to put that into my offhand and you get out of the hole and you go into the water that's set up. Now this one's a little bit harder, so or a little bit farther. So I'm going to actually use my iron. And I'm going to see how well I can do. Ooh, I think that went over. Yeah, that went over. So in this case, I still want to use a trident, but there's no water. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break that, place ice, break that ice, and there we go. Now we have water. And let's use our wedge, maybe. I'm going to try to shoot up and then aim and then do my pearl like that. Oh, that was bad. Let's just try to, try to do that oh, bad again okay and then uh, if you're doing this in survival and you don't have unlimited ender pearls you can just throw one in and that will count anyway so uh, this one this hole actually has water in it and that means that you're shooting off from the hole so let's just take our um, iron uh, driver let's just go for it let's see what happens hope I don't die you know what? I'm gonna eat really fast to make sure I do not. And I threw an ender pearl. Jeez. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. And. Can I just get a little bit more health? <laughs> there we go. And let's do this. Alright. Let's hope for the best. And. Oof. Too far. Way too far. Okay. So not way too far. But pretty far. Uh, I'm actually going to break this. And use my wedge oh man i'm really really bad at this oh come on that sucks all right guess that will have to do 
Anyway, so let's get out of here now and go to this patch of water. And we're going over the village for this one. And you will have maps. You guys might have seen that I did like a few maps and then I got bored. Uh, but you can all do maps. I'm just, I, I had limited time. All right, guys. And don't forget to eat. That's very important. And make sure to take it off your offhand too. All right, so here we go again. So we're gonna go over the village and we got to get a really good one. I think that was good. Come on, come on. Ah, there we go. Okay, wait. Yeah, we gotta get right there. I was I was actually pretty close. I'm pretty proud of that, you know? Uh, and then, whoa, guys, I just got a birdie. I just, it was a hawk, I don't know. I just got something, I just, it was two. That is, dude, that is pretty good for how far away that was. Anyway, so let's go on to, I think, the last hole that I felt like making. So right here, and, ooh, what's this? First person to get a hole in one on this hole wins this conduit. That's cool, oof, but there's a lot of diamonds here too. Oh wait, what's this? Diamonds not included. All right, fine, whatever, fine. <laughs> All right, well, conduit's still good, so wish me luck. Ready? And here we go. Oh, that hit the wall. Okay, you know what? Okay, I was going to try again, but I see why you they want you to try to get home on there because it's dangerous and you might die like I just did. Uh, so, yeah, let's go into spectator. Where is that? Oh, my gosh, there we go. And let's go back to that hole. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, geez. There it all is. All right. Survival. Probably shouldn't have fallen from that high, but. Ah, oh, yeah. Please be careful when playing this game. It's. I, I bet you can put really good enchantments on your armor and whatnot to make it a lot more safer, but. I'm not good at putting enchantments on stuff. I don't know what does what, so. Hopefully you guys are better than me. Anyway, let's try this again, because that didn't count. Because you know what? I, you know, I was... I died, so... doesn't quite count. I can still win that. I can. I can. I don't even know why I really wanted it. Well, I can go into creative, but still... Ooh, gotta put it in my offhand. There we go. Alright. Let's see what I can do. Oh, that went through! Oh, that did not go through. Alright, this was a puddle of water that I placed earlier when testing out this world. And let's see here. Let's go up. And mm. oof. Ooh man, I'm about dead. Oh, okay, wait, no. We gotta go here and then let's eat. Alright, let's try again. We basically landed in the same place, so I'm just gonna use the same puddle of water because it'd be a waste not to. And let's go. And no. Okay, we're on top at least. That's good. Um, you know what? I think I will. Oh man, this is going to take a while. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to shoot it. I don't have this time. Let's go right there. Oh, that's like four or whatever, but boom, I made it. So I made it to the finish line. That is it. I was going to make more, and then I was, like, super behind schedule because usually I record on Saturday, and it's Monday. So, yeah, I'm kind of, like, way off schedule. Luckily, it's Thanksgiving break, so hopefully I'll have time to post this video. If not, I'm so sorry. Uh, but anyway, uh, that is it. So, golf is it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Basically, what you will need is you'll need a lot of tridents. You'll need... A lot of riptide books one two and threes uh, you'll need a lot of ender pearls and you'll need some really good armor and some food and some ice uh, but if you're willing to go through the trouble of all of all of that and also a lot of time to set everything up and fences and wool if you're willing to set all that up though it's so much fun and it's probably one of my favorite minecraft mini games to play uh, so I really suggest trying it out, even if you don't do it in survival mode, just do it in creative. It's still a, oh, it's just a lot of fun to do anyway. Uh, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please... Oh, wait. 
Oh man, I already got rid of it, but I do believe that as the wise gas said, oh man, he's gone. He's dead. Okay. Uh, but as he did say, um, you'll soon find diamonds. I did find them. I can't steal them, but I did find them. So he, I suppose, was right. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this crazy video uh, with so many weird things going on. If you did, though, please hit that like button. Even if you just like use one of these techniques, it really helps me out. Um, and if I helped you out, please just help me out. That'd be absolutely awesome, and I'd really, really appreciate it. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in a next video. Bye!